don't mind the truck, it's dirty. So we got lots of stuff in the shop. Uh, we do a lot of commercial stuff. Uh, I mean, that's the bread and butter of wraps for sure. Uh, you know, and the people that put those commercial wraps together are our designers. Um, and this week we're going to be doing uh, Phil's truck. And he has been with us for, shit, I don't even know, like three, four years now. I better ask him also. But essentially, Phil is one of my uh, saviors. He is probably uh, one of the, the best mini truck style graphic designers around. Um, I thought I was good at it, but he's he's definitely definitely better than I am. Um, and he might answer me here in a minute. See how long he's been here. But uh, but one thing I like to do for my uh, employees is make sure that their rides look good. I mean, we're a wrap shop, so they gotta have they gotta have something that looks stylish out front, laid out in the parking lot. So. Excuse me. Uh, Phil used to drive a uh, bagged uh, Volkswagen Jetta wagon, which you know we had a whole wagon gang going on since I got the WRX wagon. But you know, uh, Phil doesn't hold on to cars very long, uh, m like most people around here. Uh, he builds them and then ends up selling them, gets bored with them, wants to move on to something else. Uh, Phil's probably been building cars since he was at least 15, 16 years old, as long as he could drive. Um, he's just not a graphic designer. Uh, before he was a graphic designer, he worked at uh, CarMax doing body work. Um, he went to school for graphic design and ended up doing body work because he'd been constantly working on vehicles his whole life. I mean, I think his first truck was a Nissan, possibly. No, I think it's Zuzu Pub. And uh, he hacked that up. I know he did a, a front end swap on a Nissan a long time ago, um, but Phil is all around creative. He does uh, stained glass, which is really cool. You gotta check out his stained glass work. Um, uh, he made me this cool turbo lamp that I got a cowboy hat on at the moment. But um, he, uh, he's super, super creative. Um, you know, he deserves to have uh, a ride that's as cool as he is. Um, so this week we are going to wrap his truck with his design that he probably been working on for six, seven months, probably something like that, ever since he got the truck. But uh, like I said, one of the best mini truck graphic designers around, hands down. Uh, anything you want as far as that, he can, he can get you right. One week later. Oh, he's starting to answer me now. So Phil's been with us since 2017. <laughs> Uh, and that's that's what four years right four years so yeah. Phil's been with us for four years um, and this is actually Phil's first graphic design job uh, he, you know, he worked, like I said he worked at CarMax previously and uh, before that he worked at a barbecue joint but he went to school for graphic design so uh, he found his home here with other crazy mini truckers and car guys and car nuts and just crazy wacky people man what you think it's pretty crazy looks good dude what's your favorite part ah, metallic vinyl I think 
definitely brings it to a whole new level. It's the only way to do a mini truck, really. If you're gonna do a mini truck, it's gotta be all metallic. Definitely. Joey's was amazing. This looks good. It brings out. I didn't notice that what you did on the roof. The roof was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I saw that when they were putting it on. I so. tried to tie in, because I had the same Day of the Dead kind of vibe in the, the background. So that's why I tied in. Yeah, definitely, definitely the more you look at it, the more that you see, for sure. It's, it's definitely a mix of of low rider mini yeah. truck kind of all tied my in. favorite part for sure is the pinstriping yeah pinstriping is my favorite okay. and the cheese but i'm i'm partial to cheese so gotta have the cheese on the cheese is there anything in there that you hid that nobody would ever find i don't think so no penises no penises i should have <laughs> I kept the Loki. I, had, I really did think about adding stuff. Well, you know, I hid the penis in my original <laughs> one. My my Toyota. That never got any publicity. There's a mix of uh, yeah. the skulls and random. Yeah, this. Things. I mean, like this for sure. Like the the like almost marbleizing. It looks like back in the day when they take a trash <laughs> bag and like marbleize it. I really tried to yeah look at OG paint techniques and things and. Did you ever think when you bagged your first truck that you would have a truck of this stature? Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy to me. It's come a long way since your first it's one, right? It's crazy. <laughs> it's luxury, the family can ride. Yeah. I think Gideon's gonna freak out when he sees it. Yeah, well I mean, you know, before the, the champagne colors, like standard issue <laughs> Chevy, now this is like standard issue illusions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's got the feel. It's pretty. It's pretty. How uh, how much time do you think you have in designing this? I started probably six months ago, um, and it's been dabbling here and there. It's yeah. I mean, my car. I've spent what two years <laughs> on getting it to the to where I wanted it. The problem is, I'll do something. I'll think it's awesome. I'll not touch it for two or three weeks, come back, I hate it, yeah. and then... Um, well, it's, it's way easier to design something for somebody else yeah. than yourself, you know what I mean? So. Definitely my toughest critic. So. Yeah, well, I mean, it looks good. I'm like your biggest fan, so <laughs> I, think it looks, I think it looks awesome, man. Yeah. Like some Day of the Dead, got some chicks, and all kinds of skulls and flowers. Um, obviously the, the bandana vibes. Um, yeah, what'd you do with the silver line? That silver line's beautiful. Yeah, I just wanted to just silver. Keep it a little <laughs> neutral in it. <laughs> I'm just being a smart <laughs> ass. <laughs> it's a marble. Um, I don't want to go too crazy with textures, but I wanted just enough to right. to kind of enhance it. So. Your drop shadows look good. Would you? What opacity did you? Your drop shadows have? Are you at like forty percent, thirty percent? I think so. Yeah. I did a couple different levels. Of it's good to like when a lot of people will like put like a super super heavy drop shadow, which that's <clears> always <throat> something we talk about. You know what I mean? And just kind of like yeah, lightening it up a little bit. So, so I guess I'm trying to keep that painterly vibe. And You're definitely. What resolution did you do this at? 150. 150. So yeah. this is 150 DPI, which is. An insanely large file. How big was your file? The sides were like, I think 10, 11 gigabytes. Yeah, that's pretty side. big. That's yeah. pretty big. Because you got every texture for every stripe. My computer hated me last week. So. Yeah. And I know, no matter how big of a computer we get, we still tend to put it to its limits. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think we're at the point where uh, Photoshop needs to catch up to what we're doing versus us trying to make Photoshop run fatty for the rest of the Looks good. I can't wait to see some rollers with it out in the sun. The That's gonna... we, we haven't seen it outside yet, so <laughs> seeing it outside is going to be like a whole other animal. Whole but the roof, man, the roof is like super, super cool. And not too many people are going to see it. <laughs> but. Very cool.
<laughs> I mean, so that's today, like that's quick. really ultimately where we all kind of came from really was mm -hmm. the mini truck world and you know I used to work in a custom paint shop that was called illusions as well and we t this is what we did but with paint you know what I mean and now we've killed the paint shops <laughs> so sorry about that <laughs> sorry Julian <laughs> but um yeah I mean it's it's definitely uh, definitely very 90s mini truckish and that's pretty much we're old now so that's <laughs> that was our era but we're trying to bring it back you know what I mean trying to bring it's back coming. the mini truck stuff and let the mini truckers know that you don't have to spend what this would be what every bit of 20 grand to paint now I'm sure every bit of 20 grand to paint and you could wrap this thing for five six grand this size spray you know especially with this material this is the metallic film so you get that extra pearl almost pearly look yeah 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 no, no, no. <laughs> yeah I mean and when when you drive this to work it needs to sit right out front laid out front and center mm -hmm. We'll get back to the get back to the old school days when everybody had something laid out and wrapped out front look cool. Now we're going through this transition of everybody selling their cars, buying something else, or ripping wraps off and redoing something. It's always a forever ongoing thing. Or you might even have a car that doesn't run properly. 